Hey there, and welcome to episode 51 of Busy Kids Love Music, a podcast for music loving families. My name's Carly Seifert. I'm the creator of Busy Kids Do Piano. And before we get started, I just want to give you a quick heads up that my online piano lesson course, Busy Kids Do Piano, opens up for public enrollment on August 23rd, which means that if your child is interested in piano piano lessons, this is the time when you can join my program. So over the next few weeks, if you wanna sample some of my online piano lessons before that public enrollment period, you can check out my free mini course at busykidsdopiano.com slash snackable course one word snackable course and i'm going to link to that free course in the show notes as well now today we are finishing up our summer series around the world with busy kids love music last week we stopped in japan an island country in asia and learned about the beautiful diverse japanese folk music For our final stop on our tour, we're headed across the Pacific Ocean to the country of Mexico. As with the folk music of other countries we've learned about, Mexican folk music is very diverse and influenced by different cultures. The indigenous people of Mexico, Spain, who colonized Mexico, and Africa, who were enslaved by the Spanish and then brought to Mexico. The native inhabitants of Mexico, largely the Aztec people, use drums, flutes, rattles, conches, trumpets, and their voices to make music and dance. Son Mexicano, which means Mexican sound in Spanish, was a style that appeared in the 17th century and fused together the music of indigenous, Spanish, and African cultures. This type of folk music varies depending on what region of Mexico you're in. One region of Mexico is known for love songs, another for beautiful, melodically complex violin music. In a hot area of Western Mexico, the son is called Sones de Arpa Grande and is dominated by a harp and accompanied by violins and guitars. Son Jarocho music from the Veracruz area of Mexico has a strong African influence. The one common instrument used in nearly all Mexican son is the guitar. Mexican son developed into other different folk music styles throughout the years. One of those outgrowths is called ranchera, which is a type of song that was sung on a Mexican ranch. Do you hear that word in it, ranchera? The music was usually about love, patriotism, or nature, and it followed a formula, an instrumental introduction and conclusion with a verse and a refrain in the middle. Ranchera music evolved into a type of band or a group of musicians called mariachi. A mariachi orchestra is made up of at least two violins, two trumpets, and three types of Spanish guitars. The players take turns singing a lead, while the others sing background vocals. Musicians wore outfits called charo suits, which are ornate, beautiful outfits 
worn by a type of horseman, the churro. They usually include tight decorated pants or a long skirt, short jackets, silk ties, and sometimes a wide brimmed sombrero hat. Mariachi bands play different types of music, though this style is closely connected to ranchera music. They also play ballads, marches, polkas, waltzes, and many other different styles. In 1905, mariachis were introduced to the capital of Mexico, Mexico City, and began performing in plazas and at restaurants. They continue to perform at major family events, such as weddings, quinceaneras, and baptisms. If you ever listen to Spanish-speaking radio stations here in the United States where I live, you'll often hear mariachi music in the programming. The United States military even has an official mariachi band in the New Mexico National Guard. Now, as I always do for my podcast episodes, I've curated a list to go with this episode. This list is of Mexican folk songs for you to listen to in this episode's show notes, which you can find at busykidsdopiano.com slash podcast slash 51. Now be sure to check this out so that you can see the charo suits of the mariachi bands, as well as the different types of guitars and other interesting visuals that are a part of Mexican folk music. And again, you'll find that at busykidsdopiano.com slash podcast slash five one. You'll also find there your final stamp for your passports in the show notes, as well as links to all the episodes from the Around the World with Busy Kids Love Music series in case you've missed an episode and you want to listen to that one and print your passport stamp for that episode. Thank you so much for joining me today to learn about Mexican folk music, and thank you for touring the world with me this summer to learn about the beautiful musical heritage of some of the different countries on our planet. I hope you've had as much fun as I have experienced this folk music and I look forward to connecting with you again in two weeks for a brand new episode of the Busy Kids Love Music podcast. Bye for now.